And you mentioned that this process was a little bit of a healing process from the Back to the Future situation that you went through. For me, growing up and loving those movies, Back to the Future, and, and thinking that you did such a great job in those movies and were such a big part of it, it's a bummer to hear that that whole process wasn't exactly a, great, a good one for you. Well, I'm not when in the... When you look back, I'm do not, you think you'll ever... Um, I'm not in the Do you think movies. you'll ever look back and have good memories about that film? I'm not, I'm not in... Just, just to be very clear, I'm only in the first film. I was not in the second or third film. That's, that's yeah, what, of course, yeah. is very, very, very endlessly frustrating, is that I, mm -hmm. uh, what they did was illegal, and I, I have to always inform people years and years later, now, you know, that this was not me, which is, is, is very frustrating. And there's one producer in particular named Bob Gale who has no repentance on the fact that he was involved in illegal activity. And he said, you know, he's made lies up to try to absolve himself for what he did that was illegal. Uh, you know, it's, it's a common thing that criminals will do where they'll blame the victim of their criminal activity. Well, Bob Gale blames the person of his illegal action for his illegal actions. It's, it, it's something people really should hold Bob Gale accountable for. Because it's one thing to do something, you know, uh, that's wrong. And you, you can forgive that. But then to, for years after that, not only have, not a, a, a account for that one has done something illegal, but then to blame the person that they stole from for the reason of doing an illegal thing. There's always options before doing something illegal. And Bob Gale doesn't seem to Definitely. account for that. So uh, yeah, it, that that part is frustrating. Unfortunately, had the only all you know, had it only been working with Robert Zemeckis and the the, the only there was the first film, you know, I'd be there at the reunion, smiling and happy. But specifically because of the way Bob Gale has dealt with this, it's just uh, very wrong, very very wrong yeah, way for him to to deal with this.